being the stunning professional I am, it turns out that I actually forgot we used an Alakazam in Season 1 of Scoreboard, so Kadabra is kind of technically illegal. So we're going to be generating one new Pokemon to use with us instead of Kadabra. This Pokemon will take over as like Episode 2, so we're just going to pretend this is its second episode, because I don't know why not, but it's going to be a Breloom! Sweet! Oh my god, that's more fight! That means I have like 15 fighting types now, but... I love Breloom, a Spore user is super cool. Wow, I just got really hyped all of a sudden. Let's go! So, we have four Pokemon weak to fighting. And that's slightly terrifying. And of course, you have two flying types. That's fantastic. Um, I guess... I'm so worried. Like, I was so confident Staraptor was going to go into Hall of Fame. And now I'm just, like, terrified to ever use Mir C. Because, like, Mircea's almost there. I think this is the seventh episode. Mircea's, like, so close to Raptor. Rest in peace, buddy. Um, I'm gonna lead with Femina, actually. I think that's a good, decent option. Um, you know, we have one, two, three... I think he has three Pokemon weak to ice. Four Pokemon weak to ice. Three Pokemon weak to ice. Togekiss, Latios, Chestnut. That's not one of the Pokemon weak to ice, unfortunately. And I am weak to fighting. So that's fantastic. I kind of want him to go for Leech Seed. I think that'd be really cool. Ooh. I, I, I want to predict him to go for Leech Seed, but I think he's going to Drain Punch. Either way, I'm going to go into Druggy. Now we now have two Pokemon that are currently, or one of them was formerly my Fire Red Omega Egg Lock with Femina and Druggy. This is like the Fire Red scoreboard. It's cool. Alright, and it's like someone wants to talk about Substitute. Oh, that's not good. Wait, wait, wait. Bulletproof. Um, seed, okay, Seed Bomb. I wasn't going to hit you with Seed Bomb anyways. You, I guess, Drain Punch would be the better option, because Stab. And I can't put you to sleep, unfortunately, but what can you do to me? That's the thing I'm very curious about. Belly Drum! Ah! You, oh, wait, wait, what just happened? What just happened? Like, a freaking Salic Berry. That's not good. Uh, I don't have any priority on my team. Oh, no! Oh, my God, I'm going to get swept by a Chestnut, aren't I? I've, like, never seen this before. Do you have, like, Sledge Bomb or anything that can one-shot me? I'm a Breloom. I'm not exactly bulky. <laughs> wow! Salic Berry Chestnut Belly Drum. That's so... Oh, the crit, too! The crit! Oh, my God. Okay, what do I go into here? I don't know. I do know I should go on Do Not Disturb on Skype. Uh, or I'll just, I'll just close Skype. That works, too. I didn't mean to do that. Um, uh, oh god, oh god, what do I go into? I don't have any priority. Oh, this isn't good. I guess, Grumpy, that was a horrible decision, why would I give up the Grumpy? <laughs> he's just gonna drain punch and get all of his HP back. Wait, he's only plus one speed. He's only plus one speed, so I might actually still outspeed him. Because I am very, very fast. 249, 355, uh, plus five... I think he outspeeds. Yeah, he outspeeds me now. God damn it, I can't outspeed him. I'm gonna get swept by a chestnut. This should, like, this should not, this should chestnut be happening right now. I'm so clever, guys. I scare myself sometimes. But yeah, dude, plus six chestnut with plus one speed. Wow. Sour Berry, okay. Just, that went about as badly as it possibly could have gone. There's literally nothing I can do right now. I'm just, I'm just gonna lose this battle. Actually, maybe Gurr can take a hit. Like, hey, Gurr, can you do this? Can you, like, Toast take a hit right here? Because that'd be the coolest thing ever. Because if not, I'm just... Yeah, no. Okay. Oh my god, why didn't I think of you? You resist both of his stabs! Halucha! This is your opportunity to come through with that on Burnham Boost. If you can live with low enough to get your Citrus Berry activated, we're gonna be in a fantastic position. We can pull this around, get the Halucha sweep, Showdown, stop lagging. I already made my move. Don't be this way. Okay, we can take a hit from this thing. We can take a hit. We're gonna get acrobatics off, and we're gonna be in a fantastic- Oh! That 1% though! And since you spray down, we're gonna do it. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. It's decided. We're gonna have the El Mystico comeback. Oh my god, that 1% living. Wow! What are the odds of that? And we have the Umberta boost now. And he has, like, three things that resist all of my attacks. Actually, Tokikiss will die, hopefully to a poison, or, uh, Iron Head. Ferrothorn, I have Drain Punch for you. It just won't kill, but it could possibly do something. Unless you're gonna Leech Seed me. In which case, you're kind of a dick. 
Are you gonna weak seed? Am I gonna kill you? Wow, that didn't do as much as I was hoping it would. Are you... Gyro... Ah, The dream! I mean, if there's any Pokemon that, like, is in a decent position to possibly sweep right now, it is Femina, to be fair. Because, I mean, Ice... Uh, Icicle Spear is gonna do a lot, too. I think Icicle Spear is gonna kill Togekiss, Latios, or, um... Oh my god, if we get the punch, is this gonna kill? Is this going to kill? Ah! But we got the flinch. Fantastic. Okay. I'm not gonna get a chance to ever set up a Soul Smash, unfortunately. But if we can, like, somehow turn this around and somehow win, which I don't... We might! I mean, Toad Kiss is kinda dead. Um... Gliscor is dead. Latios. Latios should be dead. All comes out of Excadrill. Like, can I kill the Excadrill in five hits? I don't know. Excadrill is the one thing I really didn't want to see right now. You're definitely faster than me. Can I take a hit? I'm gonna bet I can take a hit, and I'm gonna go with Shell Smash. Iron Head uh, is neutral. Rocks is the only thing I'm waiting. What? You're not max speed? Crab. Toxic. Never mind. That's fantastic. Oh my god. Toxic Excadrill. New meta apparently. Okay, was completely shocked that I was not faster than this Excadrill. I assumed it'd be like a choice band Excadrill with like max speed or something. Apparently that's not the case. Um, I also want to apologize for the first part of this battle. I was like, I literally just gave up. I thought I was going to get swept by that, um, what's his face. I just didn't care anymore. And I apologize. But now, I've got to do this because like, if we can make this comeback, Femina is like, earns its place in the Hall of Fame right now. Like, screw the rest of the series. Femina immediately goes to the Hall of Fame. We could do this comeback. Actually, um... Yeah, everything is dead. Like, uh, the he might try to stall out a bit. I'm gonna outspeed everything on his team, because he doesn't have any, like, prankster users or anything like that. Ice Skull Spear can't miss. It's 100% accuracy. As long as he doesn't have Protect, uh, which I know Gliscor is gonna have Protect, and he might try to stall me out with Protect. Oh my god, this Toxic could potentially screw me over so badly. All I need is three turns, and I win this game. All I need is... Oh my god, if I would've gone to Halucha sooner. I always figure out those, like, I always realize a Pokemon can live when it's too late, and I've already sacrificed, like, three Pokemon before that. That happens so often. Okay, I can live, I think, two more turns of poison. Oh my god, the Protect. The Protect is gonna screw me over so much. I know Gliascore is gonna have Protect. I know Gliascore is gonna have Protect. This is so frustrating right now. I can live this next turn. I think I can live the turn after that. Maybe. How much is this doing? 63 to 38. That is... Oh my god, I, I can't... I don't think I... I think I can live this next one. I think I'm gonna live this next one with like 1 HP. Or like 1, 2%. I don't think this next turn is gonna do 38%. Don't have Protect. Don't have Protect. Don't have Protect. Don't have Protect. Don't do this to me, Glyscore. Let me have my victory! Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. What if he gets to double... He did it! Oh my god, the comeback! That was amazing! Oh, he had the guaranteed, he had like guaranteed victory at Cloyster. Oh, that was amazing. Wow, okay. Wow. Freaking Femina just earned its spot in the Hall of Fame. If you somehow get eliminated, I'm going to be devastated. That was so cool. There we go, that took long enough. Okay, um... <coughs> Definitely an interesting team. Very scared of a lot of things here. Let's try not to get swept by whatever he leads with. That is a fantastic lead. Nothing on your team really wants to take an ice beam. Like, um, oh my god, I'm sorry. There's something like in my throat right now. So that's horrible. Okay, so he just sacrificed the Garchomp to set up Stealth Rocks. I don't know why. Unless he didn't think, unless he thought I thought he wouldn't stay in. Well, like I said, nothing on his team wants to get an Ice Beam. He doesn't have a single thing on his team that resists Ice Beam. It's at least neutral on everybody. So it would have been a good play, especially for my Mirce, who's bulky as hell. Although, more especially bulky than physically, obviously. Also, one second. I'm, like, dying right now. <coughs> this. This is the thing that gave me problems for so long, and I could finally test out Hidden Power Fire. What does this do against a Skarmory? Or am I just better off? Actually, I, is Ice Beam? No, Hidden Power Fire, super effective is 120. Ice Beam neutral is... Wow, 50%. Not horrible. Brave Bird! Ah! That... Okay, I didn't think you'd go right out attacking. Um... Okay, who's the best one to handle this now? Because I do have... 
three Pokemon weak to flying. I don't think a knockoff will kill. I think Femina. 70, 70. Am I max speed? 239. Two, oh, I'm not max speed. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. What are the odds of Skarmory's running a max speed nature, though? I mean, Skarmory's aren't exactly known as speedy Pokemon, right? It's probably running, like, max defense. Um, something like that. And I fully believe five Icicle Spears will kill. It is neutral. If not, we can hope for a flinch chance. I mean, it might do like 2% or something like that, which would be horrible, but I think it'll kill. I think it'll kill. We should be in a nice position here. Yep, okay, that'll definitely kill. Skarmory down. We're in a, wow, okay, we're in a good position so far. Uh, the Cresselia. I, I'm not super scared of the flower because like all of my fighting type Pokemon have moves that are strong against fairies. So that's not really something I'm worried about. Uh, Gyarados actually could be a problem. Like, especially if he's like somehow bounce Gyarados, that would be the worst thing in the world. You're gonna focus energy. You're gonna focus energy, that's all these Kingdras ever do. So I'm gonna Shell Smash, predicting that. Yes, the predictions, very well thought out, Hardy. Fantastic job. We're definitely gonna outspeed this thing now, unless it's like Quick Attack Kingdra, which would just absolutely blow my mind. And Icicle Spear this thing to death! Oh my god, Femina is so broken! It's so fantastic! Look at this! Poor Kingdra, you want the Focus Energy? Not today, dude. Maybe maybe another time. Although, Focus Energy, man, I never thought I'd see Focus Energy used like in a competitive format. When I was younger, I hated Focus Energy, because it always gave me problems, because Pokemon always freaking like, get used it, and it just got constant crits. Ooh, can I take you out? I don't know. This will be interesting to see. Uh, I don't really mind if Femina dies here too much, because I don't really need you anymore. I mean, you would be useful. Oh yeah, oh my god, this thing's so bulky. As long as it doesn't Moonlight, I'll be fine, because then I can come in with Perugly and... Damn it, Thunder Wave. That sucks. That's fine, I'll just Ice Cold Spear again. I know you're going to Moonlight, I don't really care about that. You should, theoretically, you should have, like, psychic me and tried to take me out. Because Psychic, I guarantee would have taken me out with my really special, shitty special defense. Plus my minus... Oh, the crit... Oh my god, if we can get... You're just gonna keep moonlighting. I know that's what you're gonna keep doing. Um... Oh my god, your defense is 120? That's terrifying. I was gonna go into Grumpy, but I don't think that's a wise decision now. I'm just gonna keep going for the Ice Skull Spear, and I know eventually I should get it. Well, okay, there you go. Psy Shock. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> One, I kinda wanted to die. Two, I got paralyzed, which is really unfortunate. I think he thought to do more than that. I don't know why he didn't Moonlight. Oh, okay, you just, yeah, Moonblast. Okay, that was a much better decision on your part. Because you're now pretty much screwed. I hope you realize that. Grumpy's gonna come in. Uh, I don't actually have anything on, on uh, Perugway to hit. The freaking flower that I can't remember its name. What is your name? Forges, thank you. Where do I want to U-turn? I'll just knock off. If you want to switch out, nothing else wants to take a knockoff. He probably wants to T-Wave me because of how speedy I am. I was gonna say that might not kill, but that crit came through for me. But knockoff is so overpowered. Knockoff kills everything. Uh, Gyarados. I'm still not really afraid of Gyarados. That forges. Like theoretically, this could go very, very badly because I do. My last three Pokemon are fighting types. So like I said, they all have things to hit fairy types because fairy is so prominent. Uh, like poison jab, sludge bomb. And Iron Head. So I'm not really afraid of that, but at the same time, I, I wouldn't complain if I managed to do some damage to this thing. I'm gonna return. And Gyarados doesn't run bounce, right? Is that a thing? Actually, I feel like I've seen Gyarados as that run bounce before. That's terrifying to think about. Although poor Gyarados gets like no flying type moves. Like, although I remember apparently, like back in the day, uh, in like third gen before the physical special split, Gyarados is used to run hidden power flying because that would be a physical attack because flying was physical back then. And I think Salamence also ran hidden power flying. That's just really cool to see. I don't know why you protected unless you just wanted to scout out what I was potentially gonna do. Um, I mean you weren't getting leftovers or anything, so that I think I feel like that was a questionable play. That's just kind of wasting time, in my opinion. I mean I guess it's wasting my PP, but oh. Whew! Holy damage! That does take me out. I am perfectly okay with that. I gotta start thinking about this Gyarados, though. That gears, this Gyarados scares me very much. Actually, um, do I have speed you? 75. Hoicho, what is your base speed? Hoicho, what is your base speed? I think it's like 100 or something like that. 118. Oh my god, you're speedy. Do you even need the Unburden Boost, dude? That's incredible. Um, that nickname, LOL. Thank you. I'm going to... 
I'm just gonna set up some subs and try to get my citrus berry activated because I definitely feel like I'm gonna need acrobatics to take down Gyarados wish that's fine actually because now I'm minus sub so I can just iron it so I'm guaranteed to take away one hit anyways I don't get to activate my citrus berry yet which is unfortunate I actually, I don't know how I didn't see that coming, to be fair. Although, now he knows I have Iron Head, and that's not a good thing. But he has to break my substitute. So, I, I feel like I'm in a fantastic position right now. I don't think the Gyarados can kill me. Moonblast does break my sub. Ooh, do I go for another one? Or he's gonna wish. He's gonna wish. That would be a smart move on his part. He might protect just to be a troll for some reason. Uh, but Iron Head would kill him even after another turn of leftover, so I'm not super worried about that. Yeah. Okay, Gyarados is where we started running into problems. I think I gotta go for another sub, because one more sub will activate my Citrus Berry. Or will it? The Citrus Berry activate at 50 or 25? It's 50, because Belly Drum users use uh, Citrus Berry. So, one more substitute will activate my Citrus Berry, and then I can Acrobatics, and I'm pretty sure we've won the game from that point. Maybe, but seriously, 118 base speed, and it still like relies on Unburden to sweep things? That's... I mean, I guess with Unburdened, you'd outspeed even, like, Choice Scarf users, which is freaking amazing, because Choice Scarf... Uh, I hate Choice Scarf so much. I love Choice Scarf, once again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Strapter, that you had to die. But, um... There's my Citrus Berry. Ooh, Dragon Dance. Dude, I will counteract your speed with my speed, because now, like, I... Actually, I don't know how long I'll be faster than you. I think another Dragon Dance, and you'll be faster than me. Which will really suck. Acrobatics. Oh! Don't Dragon Dance again. He didn't Dragon Dance again. We're in a fantastic position. The acrobatics again. Ignore my phone. I'm sorry about that. Text messages. Yay! Um, and we won. Awesome. Game two victory. Man, we've been playing decent games today. Awesome. I, I don't know what it is, like, how, what is considered high on the ladder, but right now we're 1297 on the OU No Mega Ladder. I think that's pretty decent. I don't know. I mean, I'm not losing yet that much. I'm, I'm happy. Ooh, Talonflame. I'm honestly surprised it's taken us this long to find a Talonflame because people are constantly like, You need Talonflame counters! Talonflame, Talonflame, Talonflame! And this is the first time I think we've seen a Talonflame this entire series. Although I'll really say we don't have a Stealth Rock user because that would be fantastic against this team. Although, I guarantee that Excludo is running Rapid Spin considering how uh, much his team is destroyed by Rapid by Stealth Rock. So, really, I like a lot of these Pokemon. Dragonite's really cool. I love Talonflame. Fletchinder is like one of my favorite Pokemon. You do not scare me, thankfully, because I can drain. Dragonite's really cool, Raikou's really cool. I, like I said, I love lane turn. I actually love, I like love everything on this guy's team. I love his team. I gotta like say this, dude. You are fantastic. I love your team. Like, it, it is such a cool team. I love all the Pokemon on this. I'm like, fan going inside. I'm like, I'm passing an amazing team. Oh my god. But with that said, I do need to destroy this team as well. And Giga Drain probably isn't the best move because he does have two Pokemon that quad resist it. Uh, being Dragon Knight and Talonflame, plus he has Nine Tails, which resists it. But he stayed in anyways. I don't. I'm assuming this isn't Assault. <sighs> Crit. Fuck you. Um, there's no way he's gonna stay in now. I think he's gonna switch out into. I think he's gonna switch into Talonflame. So I'm, just, I'm gonna scald. And I swear, if you're Water Absorb, I'm gonna be devastated. There's no. Yeah, there's no way he'd stay in because another Giga Drain's gonna kill. <sighs> yes. Yes, okay, fantastic. Bad news, obviously, now is Bright Bird. It's a thing. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Leftovers. Ooh, interesting. I personally run uh, Acrobatics Talonflame. Like, for the longest time, I used to just run no item, and now I'm thinking, like, I should have probably ran, like, Substitute Citrus Berry, because I assume Talonflame gets that, because that'd actually be a really good combination. Um, ooh. Ooh, I was hoping that would do more. We're gonna go into Femina, because Femina does have the highest defense, so if anybody's gonna take a Bright Bird at least somewhat decently, it'll probably be Femina. Wow, that was surprisingly well. Okay, fantastic. And nothing on his team. I'm gonna go for Rock Blast, actually, just in case he wants to switch out into Ninetales. I'm gonna go into Rock Blast. Uh, yeah, because Rock Blast will hit four of five out of the six things on his team, at least neutrally. Lantern is gonna die to his Rock Blast, I think. Will it? Will it? Yes, Lantern's dead. Uh, the only thing I would have hated there is Excadrill. But, um... Yeah, he was definitely predicting the Icicle Spear. Man, I'm making, like, fantastic predictions so far, in my opinion. Like, I usually try not to predict, because every time I do predict, it never goes well for me. Today hasn't been the worst day so far, I have to admit that. Um, I assume he's gonna go, I was gonna say, probably going to Raikou. 
Which sucks, because I once got swept by a Choice Specs Raikou, and there's I literally have no counter to it. Although, Bray Wim is a pretty decent counter now, if he is choice, anyways. Um, I want to save Femina, though. So I'm going to go into Druggy, hoping he goes for T-Bolt, and hoping he isn't... Actually, do I want him to be Choice Specs? If he's Choice Specs, he's locked into it, but he might just Bolt Switch, which will give him the advantage. Fuck, now he's predicting me! Oh my god, are you faster than me? 115? I have, I decided to go with the Poison Heal set, because, I don't know, why not? Um, but he's definitely faster. I can't believe... Actually, that was a smart choice, because I do have three Pokemon weak to Psychic, and that honestly might have killed Femina anyways. I think I have to let someone die here. I really want Druggy, because Spore is so useful, but, like, everything on his team outspeeds Druggy. I really wish I was Focus Sash right now, but even that wouldn't help me, to be fair. I'm just gonna let Druggy die, because I need to save switch into something. I'm sorry, Druggy. Uh, base 115 speed, you just barely outspeed, Grumpy. Uh, are you choiced? Are you choiced? Are you choiced? Are you choiced? I don't know if he's choiced or not. I don't know if I could risk it. If he's... Oh my god. If he's choiced, he might not be max speed nature, though. His speed's like possible 3 is 361. Is he, is he, uh, timid nature is the question of the day. I kind of want to knock off. I also kind of just want to, like, go up and, and just straight attack him. I gotta knock off. I think he's choice specs. I, I really, really feel like choice specs. It's not life orb. I can't see it being leftovers. That just seems like a really weird item to run on a Raikou. I mean, maybe it's not. I don't know. Raikou's just, like, all power, though. Okay, he's not max speed. He was assault vest. Interesting, and Volt Switch does a lot of damage. Don't go into it. Don't freaking go into Talon Flame. Don't go into Talon Flame. Don't go into Talon Flame. Please don't go into Talon Flame. I mean, I actually don't mind Talon Flame, but I outspeed everything else, so. I did not think it's Salt Vest. Okay. Interesting. Uh, in which case, Raikou literally just does hit that hard. Dragonite! That is fine by me. I can knock off your item, or I could go. I wish I had Body Slam right now. That would be useful. Oh, you're gonna Dragon Dance me, though. You're gonna Dragon Dance. Okay, I'll go for knockoff. And then I will return. Probably get swept, to be honest. Maybe? I'm trying to, like, think long-term here. And I don't have a good long-term strategy at the moment. And that's kind of bothering me. I feel like Halucha would be fantastic. But I gotta get Halucha in at a point where I could safely set up a substitute and get my Unburden boost. But then Talonflame is still a problem. Like, I need to be behind a substitute when Talonflame comes out. Because that Priority Brave Bird is going to cause so many issues. Got rid of Lumberry. I actually don't know why I bothered doing that. Because it's not like I was going to status Dragonite anyways. But you locked yourself into Outrage, which is fantastic because I could take one of those very, very easily with Femina and Ice Skull Spear you to your death. So I'm a little surprised you didn't want to lock yourself into Outrage when I do have a freaking huge physical wall. Uh, we know you're not choice because you're a Lumberry. I, I should have gone for a return. That wouldn't have killed anyways so though. That would have made a difference long term because I was still going to die either way. And MOTHERFUCKER! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just like, wow, really? I... That crit, though. Oh my god. I That had to have mattered. That crit had to have mattered. This is going to be my option to try to set up some substitutes, though. Um, hope that maybe he hits himself in confusion. I don't care that you're breaking my subs. Dig into confusion. Okay, we're in a fantastic... Oh my god, I am in an odd number of HP. This is going to activate my Citrus Berry. I have to go change that right now. Um, no, I'm in an even number of HP, so this should, this should activate my Citrus Berry. It just must be showdown rounding up and, and bothering me. Or is this supposed to be an odd number? No, because an odd number means a Pokemon can, like a Pokemon that's weak to Stealth Rocks can switch in four times. Even number, yeah. So I should set up my substitute here. Extreme speed. There's my Citrus Berry. That's fantastic. Okay, okay, that, that works really well. I don't want you to break my substitute. I really don't. But please hit yourself with confusion. Please hit yourself with confusion. That would make me so, so happy. If you hit yourself with confusion, I think I won this game. I think I win this game if you hit yourself with confusion. Yes! Acrobatics? Wow, I thought that would kill. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna need you to do that one more time, please. That would be really appreciated. Like... If he can hit himself again, I, I, I need to be behind a substitute for Talonflame. 
I absolutely need to be high in substitute for Talon Flame. There's no other answer to Talon Flame. And if I switch out, I lose my Unburn Boost. And Talon is gonna come in. <sighs> of course, the confusion ends right then. Man, luck has not been on my side today. And I just lost Talon Flame just cost me this game. Cool. I uh, maybe he won't Brave Bird. Maybe he won't Brave Bird. I mean, there's no reason he wouldn't Brave Bird because my entire team is weak to Brave Bird. So. Freaking Gale Winnies, man. Nerf Greninja, please. It's ridiculous. Maybe, maybe Floatsy could take one. Like, I don't know. It's possible, I suppose. I am Eviolite. I'm super bulky. Especially super physically bulky. You know what? I'm just gonna take this. It's like, what is Tom Flame possibly gonna do to me anyways? Besides, Braver, and that's cute. I'm gonna knock off its left door. Wow, I actually took that. That that was a little, honestly, a little surprising. Okay. Uh, Drain Punch is actually freaking extra sensory! Ah, you bitch! Can I win this? Can I win this? Extra sensory is gonna cause a lot of issues. I can't switch out to Ludico. Like, I need. I can't bring out Ludico until Floxy dies, because, like, I can't take a hit from anybody. Like, the only thing I could possibly take a hit from is Nine Tails. But Raikou with extra sensory, I almost guarantee he's coming in. Luckily, we knocked off that assault vest, so Ludico will actually be able to touch Raikou if we need to. Because Giga Drain could actually do quite a bit against Raikou. If we can get off a Giga Drain on Raikou and get back some of our HP, we could potentially win this. Raikou, that's what I was kind of hoping to see. I can't take a hit. I know that much. I'm sorry, Floatsy. You're going to have to die here. Extra Sensory. I know that's going to be coming. It all comes down to, like, can Woody Koa take an Extra Sensory from Raikou? Maybe he's going to predict it and go for T-Bolt. But no, because that wouldn't be super effective against Woody Koa. Maybe he'll T-Bolt. Maybe he won't kill me. Maybe he won't kill me. That's a possibility, right? Right? I mean, I just took a Brave Bird from a Talon Flame, of all things. I'm bulky. I'm big. I'm strong and tough. Like, look at them muscles. Look at them. They're all fancy. Oh, never mind. My muscles just deflated like SpongeBob's arms. Okay. Now the question of the day. Uh, we got off the Assault Vest. Can I take an... I think I... Yeah, I could definitely take an Extra Sensory. I'm gonna Giga Drain. If I get back enough HP... I can still win this, right? It all comes down to luck, man. I can't believe that freaking Outrage crit on Femina was huge. Would it actually made a, a difference long term? I think so. Honestly, I think it did make a difference. Well, I don't know. If I would have killed that Dragon Knight, he could have just gone into Raikou, who literally just counters my entire team, unfortunately. Like, extra sensory Raikou, anyways, counters my entire team. T-Bolt. No paralysis, got back a nice amount of HP from a Giga Drain. Uh, basically where we were at before. Okay. No crit, no crit, no crit. Don't paralyze me either. Paralysis uh, would also be really, really horrible. I'm trying to like think. Think this through. Like think multiple turns ahead. Excadrill. I'm not scared of Excadrill at all. Like what is he going to do? Excisor? What if he's like Excisor Excadrill? Excadrill. Uh, Ninetales, Scald will take care of Ninetales. Let's just Drought Ninetales, in which case that actually is a major problem. Ooh, would you be running Drought Ninetales? Like, the only thing that benefited from it is, um, son of a bitch! Will you just die? Like, seriously, of course, it did 3% less than last time. That's, at, now we're gonna, we're not gonna die from T-Bolt, but we're gonna have, like, no HP, yeah. Min-max damage, man. Min-max damage. Oh my god, this battle has been such horrible luck. <laughs> it's fine. Try to smile. Oh my god, you're drought. Okay, you are drought. That just seems so weird. Yeah, I lost this game. That's fine. We won two, we lost one. I think that's a pretty nice trade. I did really like this guy's team. The hacks definitely was not on my side in this battle. Wow, fire bless. You just, you wanted, you really needed that overkill, huh? Uh, we did lose. That's fine. Who's getting eliminated if I had to take pretty guesses? Bray Loom, I think Bray Loom is the only one that like didn't get a kill. I definitely know it's not Femna, because holy crap, that first battle. Let's go see who's getting eliminated, though. As long as it's not Ludicolo, I should be happy. And no, it's not, because I remember Ludicolo got a kill. I think uh, Bray Loom is the only thing that didn't actually get a kill, which sucks, but we really need to get rid of some of these fighting types. So I'm not going to lie, uh, towards the end of that, I really thought Girder was going to be the one eliminated, but it turns out that it's actually going to be Bray Loom, because of that like last second teleplane kill, which... This isn't, isn't the worst thing in the world, because Breloom is relatively new, and we have such a huge flying weakness that like getting rid of one of our fighting types 
isn't the worst thing in the world that could happen. Uh, but freaking Cloyster! Oh my god, I wish I could put you in the Hall of Fame now. Three more episodes to go. You could do it after that amazing performance today. Do it for Captain Nemo. Make Staraptor proud, okay? I swear, there's something about water types in this series, man. They freaking do amazing. But in the next episode, we'll have one new Pokemon. Hopefully, it's not weak to flying. Maybe it's like a rock type. That'd be cool. And it's going to be... Slow, we've used you before. In fact, one of your species is in the Hall of Fame. Uh, actually, yeah, you're uh, training to Slowking. It's in the Hall of Fame. Let's try it again. Well, at least we know who's getting eliminated next episode. Of course, guys, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to show your support by clicking the like button down below. It's very much appreciated to show that you guys are enjoying the series. Now that we are doing it every other day, pretty much. So, thank you guys so much for all the continued Team Caterpie amazing support and God, takeover and not slacking stuff. Because, Weedle! Weedle! How am I going to weedle my way out of this one?